Right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to CAS 1511C++ Group 1E. Uh, my name is Krenovan, and I'm so glad you uh, have made the time on a Saturday to access uh, this Zoom session. So for the purposes of, um, I'm just going to mute uh, Matsela. I think it's Matsela. And feel free, if you have a question, you can post it in the chat, or if you'd like to uh, unmute and ask a question, by all means, you can do that, all right? So my question to you, anybody would like me to quickly do a review of what's Group E all about? Would anybody? Okay, for the purpose of the recording, uh, I'm the Group 1E, cost 1511. Two, three means year 2023. Why? I'm not sure why they said why, but 1E is who I am. If I show you the participant list, there's one, ooh, 1,006 participants in this group. And some students have never accessed the site. I have access in terms of, I can determine who has accessed the site, when they've accessed the site, and which resource they've uh, accessed, right? So um, on, my, on the left-hand side, I'm sharing my, by the way, if you can't see my screen, just tell me. Shout out to me, tell me. So I can't see your screen and I will uh, let me do a stop share, a new share. Right. So, all right. Tell me if you can't see my screen and I will stop it and then and there, right? So feel free. On the left hand side, I've included a section called additional resources. And if you go to the folder called past year examination papers, and you look at October, November, 2021, I've got 2009, 2010, 2011. Go to October, uh, oh, I haven't uploaded October, 2022. So I'm gonna do that for you. And I also have some PowerPoints. Like I said, I've been doing this for a number of years. So please feel free to request past year papers. I even have solutions for that. But you're not ready for that right now, so I'm not going to share that with you. Okay, now there's been another question that students want to know, why did I submit the past year paper? The past year paper basically gives you an idea of what to expect in 2023. Okay, so like there was one student called Yvonne and she was worried about the get line statement and she was worried about strings and I know that strings take up about 10 to 15% of the uh, paper. That's over the years. I don't know what's gonna happen in 2023. But I told her, listen, don't spend so much of time on the get line uh, feature because you could, in an exam situation, be stuck with one question and not work on the other questions. So that's what I, I, I realized by looking at past year papers. The other question that one of the students wanted to ask me was, so I'm having problems with my code blocks. Now, if you are having issues with code blocks, uh, maybe we can have a one-on-one -on -one session, but what I've also included is a link to the online GDB. The online GDB, I'm sharing my screen. I'm going to show it to you. Here's my online uh, GDB. It's onlinegdb.com forward slash online underscore C++ and I go to my, right, so let's go there. So there we go, it says language C++. And whatever you do in code blocks, you can actually work with in the online environment, which is online C++. So if I want to say hello to, let's say, let's say I'm gonna take that out. And I'm gonna put in, uh, let's go with the, uh, Delete that. I'm going to say hello, Molly. Molly, are you still with us, Molly? Yes, I'm here, sir. Right, Molly, can you see my screen? It says see out more. Hello, Molly. Yes, I can see. Yes, so I'm going to run this program. So it's slightly different to code blocks. I click on the run button on the top and it says, Molly, what did it say to me, Molly? Molly. Oh, I wow, I can see. What yes. did it say, Molly? It said? Hello, Molly. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask you another question now, right? I'm going to ask you another question. Right. Molly, I'm yes. running my program. What? What is it? It's compiling. It's compiling. Oops, lost connection to the server. Now, this is what happens when you are online. Mm. Let me run. Molly, can you see what happens there, Molly? Yes, compiling the program. Compiling Still running. the program. And how are you, Molly? I am fine. And how are you? Okay, great. I'm, I'm excellent now that I have my students online. Okay, so that's for an online compiler. So I've answered two questions. Question number one was, um, regarding the My Unisa and the past year papers. Question two was the code blocks. Let's check in the chat. I see there's a question out there. Please guide us on how to access the assessments or how can be done on the calendar only. Okay. BRB. Oh, be right back. Ah, I love that out. Right. So how do we access the assessments? In order to access the assessments, you go to the Unisa site. You go to the My Unisa site. Uh, let me do that. You go to the My Unisa site and you go to the main website, right? So Molly, can you see my, see my screen, Molly? Yes, I can see. Right, it's still... so now, Molly, can you see my password, Molly? No, it's saying, oh, it's saying we are sharing, yeah, now we can see. Yeah, but we are good, not seeing good. your password. Oh, good, good, good. You're not supposed to see my password, right? So when you log in and you go to my modules, you click on my modules and you click on 23Y, right? So you go to class 15, 11, 23Y. And on the left-hand side, you'd look at, it says assessment one. Now, this is from Ms. Invalasi. She's the lecturer and she included a folder where it says assessment one. And you go to assessment one, it says, oh, there we go. The quiz open on Sunday and the quiz will close on Monday, the 1st of May. The grading method is your highest grade. So I hope I've answered that question. How and where do you access the assessments? So if you need to access it, you click on, uh, let's preview the quiz right now. You click on preview and it'll ask questions out there. Okay. So, I beg your pardon? I'm just going to mute, uh, is, it, is it Sharon Jack? And I'm just going to mute Clinton. Sorry about that. But you feel free to unmute or raise your hand, right? Okay. So, Molly, have you worked on the first assessment, Molly? Yes, sir. Great, great. Now, let's just go through some, again, I'm not going to give you answers but I'm going to help you to navigate through the assessments. So here it says, which of the following is a valid variable name? So you need to know the rules associated with variable names. So just like we have a name and my name is Pranav and Govinda. Molly, what's your name, Molly? Molly Sitole. Oh, there we go. Molly's full name is Molly Sitole. Molly, do you have any uh, numerical characters in your name? Are you Molly one? No. No, no. So there's some certain rules that you need to follow when you are naming your children or your sisters or brothers or your parents named you. So just like we have names and naming conventions and rules with regard to human beings' names, we also have some rules regarding variable names. Molly, now that you said you completed assignment one, what is this concept of a variable? What? What does that mean? Molly? Um, um, it, like a variable that may not contain any characters. No, 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 I'm not asking, uh, what, what is this word variable? What is a variable? Variable, it's not a name. It's not a, how can I put it in English? Rescue me. Oh, okay, let's see anybody. Would anybody like to rescue Molly? I ask the question in ordinary simple terms, what is this word variable? What does it mean? Uh, let's An see. input, uh, a number. Ty, yes, Ty, you input a number there, right, Ty? Go on, Ty. 
Anybody the else would like to? Tool is like any any number um, mm -hmm. that you can input into a um, into a program. Okay, okay. So it's used to input a number into a program. All right. Thank you, Ty. Anybody else would like to? Jamie, I see you are unmuted. Go ahead, Jamie. Okay. Or oh, Carlos. Is it Carlos? Hey, Carlos. Second time we're meeting. <laughs> How are you? I was gonna say a variable allows us to store uh, values uh, in our program uh, when we are writing our instructions. Oh, I like that word. It allows me to store something. So in ordinary yeah. everyday language, think of it as a container. Um, let's, let's be a little, uh, if, it, if it was a kitchen, think of it as like a Tupperware container or your pot where you put your stuff inside it, right? So a variable is a container it can store. Just like Ty mentioned, it can store a number. But guess what, Ty? It can also store a string. It can store characters. So it's not just a number. So out here, they are questioning your ability to understand the concept of a variable name. A variable name, for instance, my name is Prenovan. My name is Does Prenovan. Not have... Does not have... Oops, I'm getting an echo Oops, there. I'm getting an echo there. Mm, okay, the echo is gone. Okay, so... Um, my, I won't have any numbers in my name. I'll just have characters, P-R-I-N-A-V-I-N. -I -I Same thing with the variable name. Will I only have characters? Will I only have, when, are spaces allowed? Are special characters around, allowed? So that's what you need to go and check out. Let's look at the second question. The second question talks about what is the value of X after the following statements have been executed? So in this, a uh, question, ma'am is testing your ability to understand the concept of a variable type. Now remember, I told you that a variable is a container. So Molly, in your kitchen, you have containers, right Molly? Yes. Do you have plastic containers? Yes, I've got plastic containers, different and kind of containers. You've got glass containers, plastic containers. Do you have some tin containers as well? Yes. Sir. Right, so for different containers, you'll use it for different things, right, Molly? Yes, that's correct. Correct, so now, same thing happens with these variables. Different variables, you use it for different uh, stuff that you wanna work with. So in this case, I've got three variables out here, X, Y, and Z. And it so happens that I've declared it. I mean, when I say declaring it, I'm stating that I am telling you up front, Molly, that these are plastic containers. And more specifically, this is of type int. Int means it's integer. So quick review, you can get integer containers, you can get uh, real floating point containers, you can get characters as containers, and you can get strings as containers. Now, what they wanted you to have, what to want you to happen out here is, in this container Y, I am storing a value 10. So Molly, if this was your kitchen, your plastic container, um, or your, you are going to store, what do you put in your plastic containers, Molly? Tell me. You say? In your plastic container, what would you put in? I'll put cold stuff. Okay, you'll put cold stuff. And in your glass container, uh, Molly? I can put, uh, if the glass can accommodate warm stuff, I can put cold, warm, different oh, lovely. Of things. And so, and, I, and it's also microwave friendly, right? So you can take your glass container and put it yes. into the microwave. So the same thing happens with these variables. So X, Y, and Z means I can put in special uh, values in there. And it so happens that the special values are integers. Right. So far, so good. Anybody with a question, please feel free. Tando, you're also unmuted. Go ahead and talk. Carlos, if you want to talk. Uh, Bovard, if you want to say something, please do. Right. So what happens out here? I'm storing the values in here. Y is 10, Z is 3. And out here, I'm doing a computation. So any program from now onwards, for those people who are brand new in programming, any program must have an input some processing involved and some output. I'm talking about a, you know, a complex program, not a simple hello world, hello, how are you? Hello, Molly kind of thing, right? So right here, yes. we have a computation that take, 
to place. So the value was stored, it was put in. Let me put my, my, my video on. So I'm putting it into my mouth, I'm processing it yes. and I'm getting some energy, right? So yes. same thing happens with the program, Molly, because you brand new to programming, I'm talking in terms of simple English, simple language, right? Yes. So we yes. need to work out what's happening, what is the output? And that's what they expect you to work out from there, right? Let's yes. look at the next one. The same thing happens here. They say, what is the value of X after the following statements have been executed? So they tell me. So they say. Yes, Molly. On that one of what is the value of X after the following statement, I, I took it to mathematics to board, board mass rules. Correct. Is that yes, yes. It yes. applies. Board mass applies, yes. By the way, we take it for granted that you are programming students and that you have a little bit of mathematics knowledge, okay? Not a little bit, you should have a lot of maths knowledge uh, because mathematical concepts are involved in programming. And like Molly has correctly pointed out, board mass. Uh, anybody wants to talk about board mass out here? I can see Millard, you're unmuted. Millard, you want to say hello? Uh, Empo, Bofart, anybody? Ty, you spoke so nicely earlier on. Ty, you want to talk to me about this concept of board mass? B O D M A S. No, I'm happy with it. Okay, I, what I is definitely board understand. Mass? Um, what is so board it's mass? just an abbreviation to um, help you keep the order of arithmetic oper um, operations. Mm -hmm. So B is brackets, O is of, D is divide, uh, M is multiply, I think. Yes. Um, a is addition and S is subtraction. Okay, great. Thank you very much for that maths lesson, a quick maths lesson. So if I looked at Y is equal to X is equal to Y times Z, that means according to what Ty has mentioned, I've got to do the mathematical operation first before I do the subtraction, all right? So that's very really important. Excuse me. Thank you, Ty. All right, so the second example also deals with that, where they talk about how am I going to get the value of x when the value initially is zero and what happens i'm tracing my program let's look at this one it says what is the value of x again so they want you to determine the output this is what programming is all about we have a situation where there's certain inputs that take place we need to do some processing to this these inputs and outcomes and output let's look at this question what is the value of the following code? Int value, value is equal to 11.5. Mm. Now this introduces a different type of a value, uh, I shouldn't be using the word value, a number. So initially we told you that integers, and now we're talking about 11.5. Oh, this has a decimal value in it. So there's something different about this one. And if you look at the word C out, there's the B-A-L-U-E. There's no, I call it my 66 and 99, right? It's not in quotes. That means I am displaying whatever the contents of value is. Remember, Molly, we were talking about a container? Yes. In the word container, if I want to say, Molly, please tell me what's in your, in your glass container. I'm basically saying, what C out, console output from the glass container. And now I'm not gonna give you the answer out there, right? I want you to work a little bit on it. And the next one again talks about what is the output of the following code? Value is equal to 11.5. Ooh, look at this one. Tie, look at the difference between this one, tie. This one, C out value and it does not have the quotation marks. Ty, look at this one. C out quotation marks. Uh, yeah, it's saying that the output's going to be different because it's you've like the quotation marks show that um, it, you're using words now, not uh, a variable. Yeah, so you're using words. And, and let's be like computer literate now. We're going to say we're using characters and that's a string. Yay, right, Ty? 
we becoming computer literate. What do you say to that type? Um, I hope so. <laughs> ah, great, great, great. You're on the way, you are beginning your journey of being computer literate. So Ty has mentioned earlier on, she said it's a container, and she told me that a container stores uh, numbers. And now Ty is telling me that it's got a word out there. So if I want to find out what this does, Ty, watch this, Ty. I'm going to cheat a little. I'm going to copy that. Ty, can you see this? I made it blue. Blue means it's active. <laughs> On my keyboard, I'm going to press Control and C. Uh, you can't see that, Ty. And now I'm going to open no, up No, but I'm my... assuming you copied it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Which other tutor allows you to copy, uh, Ty? Uh... Right. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you. Who laughed? Oh, who? Let me see who has got my joke. Ah, you got my joke. Uh, I got to see that. That's, uh... oh, man. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Carlos is laughing. Right, thank you, Carlos, yeah. for my joke. All right, so Carlos, I'm opening up my code blocks. Mm. I'm going to show you a trick of how to determine what the output is. Carlos, tell me, uh, is my screen opening up on code blocks, Carlos? It is open, but it looks like uh, a quarter of it is displayed. You might need to just drag it across. Now. Okay, how's that now? Uh, not yet. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. So, so let's do a quick revision of code blocks, right, for the benefit of some students. They asked me the question, the code blocks is not working. How do I work with and all of that, right? So click on create a new project. Carlos, I'm sorry if I'm boring you a little bit. I know you know how to do this, but when I teach, you gotta teach for students that are brand new and students that are intermediate and some are advanced because they've told me that they've done programming. Carlos, you don't mind, Carlos? <laughs> okay, so now we've selected console application and then there's two types of languages in this C and the C++. I like to be the plus plus. And I click on next and I'm gonna give it a nice name. Ty, what about this name, Ty? Perfect. <laughs> ah, I like it, Ty. And if you look at the, the it's got Ty, the, the project file name is ty.cbp. That kind of tells me that's a, a file with different extension and it's, it deals with a specific language. If I had DOC, that would mean doc. Right? If I had uh, PPT, it's something else, right? PowerPoint. I click on next and I click on finish. Yay. Check it out, Ty. On the left-hand side, it says Ty, you've got sources and you've got main.cpp. So Sam. I'm going to, yes? Sorry Molly, to disturb. Was... No, no, go ahead, Molly. Yes. Uh... What's the difference if I just go to open new project without opening the console application? Will I get the same results? Right, that, that's a good question. Somebody else asked me this question. They are busy working on assignment two. And they said, what if I do the program in my own way, my method, and I'm using uh, you know, some other programming statements. You must think of programming like working and solving a geometry rider. Basically, you are using different mathematical concepts to solve a geometry rider. The output, the final thing, remember I started off by telling you, Molly, that uh, a program has input processing and output. It doesn't matter how you process it as long as you get the same output. So the same thing out here, it doesn't matter how you open up your code blocks, as long as you can see the white screen in front of you, and as long as you get the output, the black screen that tells me this is what I'm presenting, that's what we should be happy with, okay? Does that answer your question, yes. Molly? Yes. Okay, great. So um, let me just go back to that one time. Remember I, I copied that, right? I'm gonna say Control V, yay! Aren't I a fast typeless time? Very impressive. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, I'm so glad you are impressed by my typing skills. Okay, so now if I look at it, I'm, I'm just gonna take out the hello world. I don't need that hello world anymore, right? I'm gonna take that out. And remember my question said, what is the output of the screen, right? What is the output? Right now, I just want to tell you, I don't give you assignment answers, right? But I point you in the kind of right direction. So Ty, does that look pretty Ty? Um, yes, but... Why does it say um, float value? 
That's oh, good point. Right, no problem. Good question. Thank you, Ty, for asking me the question. And please feel free to ask me this. Okay. Just like you, Molly has three different containers in her home. Molly has got a glass container, a, a plastic container, and she's got a tin container. Now, the tin container she uses to make cakes, and she puts it in the oven, right, uh, uh, Molly? Yes, sir. Right, because the tin can, it can take lots of uh, heat, and you can bake your cake in the oven. But Molly, you'll never put a plastic container in the oven, right? Yes, sir, to melt. OK, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ty, am I so good, Ty? Without me even explaining, <laughs> I'm talking about plastic containers. You got it. Talk to me, Ty. Tell yeah, me what I you got get. it. <laughs> what did you get, Ty? Uh, because it's got the decimal, it's a, a floating value. So you can't just say the value is equal to something without saying what kind of variable it is. Beautiful. Uh, Ty, don't lie to me. You've done programming before. No, just following time. the guide. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. That's right. Before our Zoom sessions, you must go and read through the guide, okay? Because it's not like I'm having all the face-to-face -face where I lecture at DUT and uh, I see you all three times a week. I only see you for the Saturday session, right? And you'll need to go through the work on your own. So as, as you pointed out, it has a different characteristic associated when I have the word float or when I have int, all right? So float allows me to store all the decimal values uh, time. If I have the word int, then I can only have a whole number like 11, five, six, seven. Now, would you like to run this program, Ty? Um, Ty? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. Right, so let's go and run it, right? I call this my little samosa, Ty. From your accent, I gather you're not an Indian. This is a samosa, right? <laughs> okay, Carlos, right, right. So there we go. There's my little samosa or my play button, right? I click on my play button and it says, it seems that the project has not been built yet. Do you want to build it now? Yes, 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 yeah. I want to build it. Right, so build the project. Yay! Oh, look at this. Ty, check it out, Ty. Yeah, it says... I mean, it makes sense because of the quotation marks. Ah, great, great. And Ty, I'm just reminding you that I don't help you on the assignment questions, Ty. So I'm not <laughs> going to say what this is, right? Okay, now you told me about this quotation marks. Ty, I feel like I'm going to take those quotation marks. I don't like the quotation marks anymore. And this is how you learn programming, Ty, right? So I'm giving you a strategy. You try it out for yourself. Put the quotation marks, take the quotation marks, and let's see what happens. Here's my little samosa, my green samosa. I'm going to run it again. Oops, it gave me the same answer because it still has it in memory. Let me run, let me compile it. Here's my, here's my samosa and the background has got a bit of a roti. <laughs> Build and run. <laughs> oh, Ty knows what I'm talking about, right? So Ty, check it out, Ty. Did you see that, uh, those quotation marks, what he does? A hundred percent. Yeah, so if I have the quotation marks in there, whatever I type in there, time. if I have a quotation mark, whatever I type, aren't I a fast type? Ty, do you understand what I'm saying there, Ty? Yes. You do? I don't. Okay. Can you see that, Ty? Here we go. I'm going to build and run. If I have a quotation mark, a quotation signs my 66 and 99, whatever I type in there, Ty, it will display it. And that goes to everybody else as well. Carlos? Quotation marks means whatever's there, printed. No quotation marks means whatever is stored in the container, the variable, I must display it in the C out statement. Right? So one of my objectives in today's lesson was to talk about this word called C out and to talk about the concept of a variable. Hopefully I've answered that question. All right? Ty, so far so good? Yes, happy. Ah, so am I, so am I, I'm happy, right? Let's go back to, oh, this is still compiling, it's online compiler, right? Let's just leave that alone. All right, let's go back to uh, this assessment. So I think y'all can work out what this answer is. I'm not gonna tell you what the answer is. What is the output of the following code? Oh, there we go. I think you have a strategy of how to work this answer out as well. What do you say about that, Ty? 
Definitely. I'm not gonna ask, yes, def, good, good, good. Molly, I'm not gonna ask Molly because Molly said she's in the book. Right, here's the next question. Which of the following lines correctly reads a value from the keyboard and stores it in a variable named my bar? Mm. Anyone wants to talk about this question? Anyone wants to talk about the question? The question obviously means stores it in the variable the var, right? I think, okay. Yeah. I, so go ahead, go I'm ahead. Not, is it Carlos? Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm just trying to remember did this assessment and I might have flagged this question because I thought the variable is named my var and then the input variable has got a different name, da var. So I, 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 I got a little bit confused because I thought it would be C in uh, and then uh, the, 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 the variable that would take in uh, the input would be my var. But in the answers, we've got da var. So I don't know what your comment is. I actually don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, let me put my camera on to, to show you. Mm, 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 mm. That's my confused look, Carlos. Yes. Okay, 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 right? All right, so I, I also think maybe we should uh, check this question out because it said it stores it in a variable named my var, but in the alternatives they have the var. Hmm? Ty, what do you think, Ty? I know you're new to programming, but... We were talking about this containers that Molly has in her kitchen. I, I, I mean, I, it won't work because you've named the variable my var and the var is not the same. If, obviously, if you use the correct programming the variable option. Name. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But if you, were to, if you were to assess which one is maybe correct in syntax, then you'll take C in. Uh, Dava, I mean, yes. yeah, it would work, uh, but the data type would not have been declared Dava uh, as a string or whatever. It, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, uh, anybody else? Jamie, I can see you also unmuted. Go ahead, Jamie, please give us a, a few comments. So um, I think that the variable myva would have been declared before, and so they are asking what will take an input into that variable. And I also, I don't want to give the answer away, but I do. No, 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 don't give answers. No, I'm not giving the answer away, but I understand what they are saying, right? They mm -hmm. are saying that every, all the answers says the var, but one of the answers will be correct because it's taking in the variable to be assigned to my var. Oh, is that how you're looking at it? Okay. And what is C in? Uh, Talk to me about C in. The C in would be console input. So whoever's typing into the keyboard, that will be then taken in to whatever it's assigned to. Okay, okay, great. Uh, what I love about it, Jamie, is that you, have been, you um, Ty and Carlos and Molly as well, we started to talk about this thing about programming and we're learning about the word C out and now we learned about the word C in. So, I'm going to leave it at that. It's only the, today is the 15th of April. This assignment is due. When does it say it's, when do they say it's due? Let's go to the top of the screen there. When is it due again? It's due, it's due on the 1st of uh, May. Okay, so we got some time to think about that, all right? And maybe you can, uh, Carlos, if you like, contact the lecturer and ask her, you are having some issues about the VAR and my VAR, yeah. Bar, okay. His yes. bar and Thai bar, <laughs> Molly bar. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you got my joke. So I do have a sense of humor. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though it may be a bit dry and it may be touching, but anyway, I do it. Okay. So thank you Just very much. Be, before we. I don't know, maybe without giving the answer, actually. No, 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 no. Don't give answer. Don't give answer. Please don't ever give answer. No, we, we don't want to give. What I want to understand is, uh, generally, is there an issue on that question or we've totally missed it or like just... Okay, how about this? We've got two weeks to sort this issue out, right? Yeah. You need to think about it and you need to discuss it. 
talk about uh, um, uh, to other students. Maybe if you'll have a WhatsApp group or something like that, across, I don't know. You know, to talk okay. about social media on Facebook, yeah. on uh, okay. send an email to the lecturer, so it's all right. Okay, so okay. I've got some questions in the chat. Let me answer that now. It's uh, Sagu says, please explain board mass. Ty, you did a lovely explanation. Ty, would you mind explaining it to Sigu again, please? He came in a bit late. Sure, no problem. Um, board mass is how you do um, arithmetic operations. So like what order you do times divide, subtracting, et cetera in. So the B stands for brackets, O of M multiply, D divide, oh, sorry, the, those were the wrong way. D divide, M multiply, A addition, A subtract. Thank you, thank you. Ty, you said you didn't know about programming, but you seem to be so good. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if my job is at stake over here, but uh, you know, if you wanna if you wanna apply for the job next year, there we go, right? You can explain board mass. Thank you, Ty. Right, now, um, there's another question. This is from uh, Colin. Colin says, a namespace that is deserved for values that are changeable is used to store the street. Colin, you mind unmuting and then just talking to me, Colin, what 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 do you mean by that? Uh, that was to the answer uh, to the question of what is a variable. Oh, thank you, Colin. Yeah. What is a variable? Colin, talk to me now that you are here. <laughs> so, um, it, well, like I said, there, it's basically you're giving a name to a piece of storage in memory that you can assign values to. Oh, OK. From what you've told me now, Colin, I gather that you are an experienced programmer. Uh, no, no, I, I dabbled with it a bit many years ago. Nah, then you've got experience. Colin, you've got experience. See, I picked it up from you, right? Now, anti-psychic, Colin, anti-great are good. Colin, I'm looking for a compliment to Colin. I picked it up that you knew programming or you did memory or all of that. Colin. Yeah, it's it's been many years since I've I've played with any code, so now I'm getting it's back like riding a bicycle. It's all, it's all coming back to you, right? So thank you very much. That was a lovely answer that you gave, by the way, Colin. It used to store this changeable value in memory. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Thank you very much, Colin. So uh, let's go for another question. Would you advise us to access other materials other than the study guide for the module in order to pass the money? No, listen. The study guide is a lovely, well-written um, guide. It's been used for a number of years. If you look at the guide, I think it's 2010 or 2011. So use that. But if you want to gain a little more understanding, that Mbabatu Rakoma. He said, Yvonne, Yvonne, that's you, Rakoma. Yvonne, say hello, ask your question. Yvonne. Okay, so stick with what ma'am has. Leslie, oh, Leslie, placeholder. Leslie, thank you for that, Leslie. You wanna say hello to us, Leslie? Hi, Leslie. Oh, ah, there's some lovely, lovely messages. Colin, Leslie, uh, Yvonne, Sigu, Molly, right. So there's no more questions. I've asked all the questions, all right, great. Um, Let's go to the next assessment. Some students are working ahead of us and they are busy working on assessment two. So if I look at my left-hand side of my screen, Carlos, you still with me? Can you see my left-hand side there, Carlos? Carlos or Ty, are you with me? Yes. Right, can you see the left-hand side, Ty? You need, it says assessment two. Yes. Only see your face, or maybe I've got the wrong screen. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me take my face out. Uh, and I'll save it. Uh, you don't need to. Oh, see maybe it. it's my side. I think maybe I had minimized the. Yeah, it's okay now. Thank you. Okay, great. So let me just go to. Let me quickly go to stop video and let's go to my screen. It says. Carlos, you with me now, Carlos? 100%. Right. If you look at the left-hand side, I'm still in the main site. The main site is called 23Y. If I look at assessment two, right? So if I click on assessment two, and there we go. Ooh, one person already submitted it. Okay. 
and right so there was uh oh, it doesn't seem to have the assessment here anybody's got the second assessment can tell talk to me and tell me where it is assessment one that's uh, yeah. scroll down scroll down thank you is it colin no oh, it's, it's i think it's right at the bottom maybe oh right at the bottom okay let me let me see where's that no uh when i click quick, on assessment no. two it's it's at the bottom there there it is ah there we go there we go there we go there's two assessment twos okay so so there we go ma'am says the format has changed from quiz to the file upload i'm waiting for it to change on the module site i'm attaching the assignment here so that you can start working on it Ooh, right so i know this assignment is not due like soon but i would suggest you start working on it asap so let's click on the there we go, it says I need to save it, save my file, and let's open this document now, right? So, Carlos, are you able to see my screen? It says uh, tutorial yes, letter yeah. 102, great. So, so let's start looking at it. And there we go, it says the, the, this assignment is due on the 8th of May. Ooh, so the first assignment is due on the 1st of May, and a week later, you're gonna have the second assignment. So you better start sorting out your timetable and your schedule because up until now, NAM hasn't extended the date. But I've been in at UNISA for a number of years and I think they're going to extend the date, right? Or we'll also ask NAM to please extend the dates because uh, Carlos, don't you have wife 101 or children 201 or <laughs> work 105? <laughs> Ty? I do. Holly, <laughs> yeah, Jamie, Colin. Yeah, just like me, I also got all these things to deal with, right? Okay, by the way, that's why I have the greatest respect for my for UNISA students, because you are dealing with work issues and family issues and, and you've got to you know, juggle things around. So if I look at the tutorial matter, it says study lessons 17 to 23. Ooh, that's a lot to go through. That's pretty uh, tight. And let me tell you something about programming. In programming, you can't skip lessons one to 16 and then decide, oh, okay, I'm gonna to go to lesson 17 to lesson 23. It just does not work. You can't decide I'm going to leave out some sections and go over to lesson 17. It just doesn't work out, All right? Okay, let's look at this question. So it says, suppose we want to input and validate the age of students. Mm. Remember, we spoke about the word input about 20 minutes ago. Input, you can actually, the word's supposed to say put in, but put in doesn't sound too nice. And because put in sounds like Vladimir, uh, and this is American kind of thing, you know, they didn't want to use put in, so they said input, all right? Okay, that was a dry joke, but anyway. All right, so validate means that I got to check that the age that they are entering in is indeed a valid age. So nobody is minus two years old or minus 10 years old, right? It needs to be a positive mm -hmm. value. And, and nobody is like 200 years old. So that's also worth validation. Now I've been at UNISA for a number of years, over 10, over 10 years, right? In terms of that. And if you want a hot tip for the exam, input and validating appears in past year papers. The while loop concept of validating a value that's put into the computer program appears, right? Just to let you know, let me put my camera on this, right? I've been, I've been doing it for so many years and I've I always take a bet with students, right? So here's my bet and it's on camera and it's recorded. Uh, my bet is, as it works like this. If I have lessons with you, I tell you what's going on and I give you tips and strategies of how to tackle the exam. And it does not appear in the exam. You have the right to request from me a full refund. Carlos, I don't know what you paid for your course. <laughs> a full I'll refund, take you on that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Full with, refund. With interest. With interest, right? When I started studying at UNISA, it was 50 at a module. I don't know what it is now. Over a gram. <gasps> oh, wow, Ty, you should have put your camera on for that reaction. 
Oh man. Oh, Molly, 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 Molly. Look, I think it was 100, 150 or 50 years. Huh? But it was dirt cheap compared to what it is now, right? Oops, I just gave my age away again, right? So when I give you a hot tip like this, I'm telling you, why loop must appear in the exam, and more especially in terms of uh, validating. So let's talk about this concept of a loop, the while loop. For there to be something put inside this loop over here in the brackets out there, you need to have something to compare with. So any while loop, before you enter the while loop, you have to have a variable that's put in. Molly input, okay? So there's my container called final marks. And inside final marks, I need to have a value. Enter age, I need to store a value inside age. And that's what compares or comparison takes place in the, the heading of the while loop. The while loop continues while that condition is true, okay? Inside the body of the loop, values change such that I am now able to leave the loop, all right? So that's what you got to keep in mind for that. The questions on the WhatsApp group was, do I need to have the entire program written out or just the part of the Answer what is expected of you. You only have to submit the completed while loop. They don't expect all the program uh, out there, right? But for you to answer this question, you will need to do it in code blocks. Ty, can I use your program again, Ty? You may. Ah, thank you, Ty, for that. Right? So Ty, watch this, Ty. You know, time is of the essence, uh, Ty. So I'm going to control C. I'm going to say copy it. Ty, watch, watch how fast I type, Ty. Are you timing me? I wasn't, but it was quick. <laughs> ah, thank you very much. I'm a fast guy, right? So while I copy this across time, this is how you do a strategy of answering a program question. Before you get to the wide loop and the final mark and all of these things, time, it will be a good idea to take that out and to start working in terms of how you write a program. Any program must have, I told you, input. So this is where I'm doing my input stories, right? Ty? And what else did I tell you that a program has, Ty? An output? Yes, it has output. Okay, it has output. And what else, before we get the output, what else we need to do? We need to do some input as well, right? And, 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 and before that, and in between the input and the output, what, I, what did I tell you happens, uh, Ty? I use the examples where I, I put in food into my mouth and then out came energy. Okay, let's not we talk. Need to, do we need to build and, and um, run it? Yes, yes, yes. Another word is called processing, right? right? So think of this as any program that you're going to see from now onwards. What I'm trying to teach you is uh, a strategy of tackling programming. You need to consider the three aspects of input, processing, and output. So you know this concept of the while loop time? That will come under processing, okay? Okay. All right, now time, you know we told you, I, we spoke about declaring and you spoke about this thing called float and all that goes with it, right? You remember that about half an hour ago, time yes. we were talking about it? Right, so in C programming, C++ programming, whenever you use a variable, like Colin has correctly pointed about the, RAM and the space and the memory. Colin, you there? Colin, you're going to come in, Colin, quickly? Oh, Colin left us. Okay. No, no, I'm still here. Sorry. I'm, I caught you out, I'm, Colin. I'm reading, uh -huh. I, I'm reading through my work that I need to get done. Oh, okay. But you, you're like multitasking, Colin. Colin, I yeah, need I'm you now, listening. Colin. You know, you told me about this thing about memory and all of that, Colin. So yeah. I need to tell this program that I need to keep some memory over there. So I'm going to use the word int, and I'm going to use the word age. 
So, you know, you told me, Colin, you need to keep some space for a variable and memory and that goes with it. That's what's happening out here. So we're telling the compiler, compiler, uh, I'm going to be using the variable called age and I'm going to be declaring it. And inside age, I'm going to store integer values. Uh, Ty, a quick question. How many variables are you using here, Ty? Ty, I hope I didn't lose Ty. Uh, two, sorry. Two, yes. What's the other one, Ty? Um, age, I think, and then final mark. Right. So if I'm going to use it, I'm going to say final mark, right? Can you see that? I've declared the two. Right. Oh, Tembani Single raised their hand. Tembani Single, go ahead, talk. Hello. We Hello. We called one work because with the C in there, you have age spelled correctly. So it won't store Ooh, on the yes. correct variable. Oh, thank you, Tembani. Thank you, Tembani. So I, I, I typed incorrectly. Ah, okay. This is a joke that all teachers use, right? We were just checking who's paying attention. That's why we typed it wrongly. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay. Okay. But, but Timbani, I'm going to leave it alone like that, right? Let's see what happens when I do a build and run. Let's do a build and run. Oh, check it out. Check it out. Let's look at the error message that I got. The error, 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 error message. Can you see that? It says that it does not know age was not declared in the scope. Right? So you are correct in telling me that I can't type. Oh, lucky. I, I did that to check if Tambani, Ty, you didn't pick up the error, Ty. Colin, stop reading your notes, Colin, and check my errors there, Colin. Ty? Hello? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Oh, and you have to say that to me. How can you do that to me? Now you've got to listen to the recording. Okay, so there's it, right? So let's do a build and run. Yay! Check it out, check it out, check it out. How's that? Ty? Does it look nice, Ty? Yep, perfect. All right, let me just enter my age, Ty. Yeah, oh. How's that, Ty? <laughs> perfect. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, my final mark, which is my cost 1511 mark, which is I'm going to get 88%, but ta -da! you check it out now. So I've accomplished the first thing in programming. I put in values inside my variables. Now, let me teach you another trick about programming, right? Without me even doing any processing time, I'm going to see out my age is E N E N D L L. Right? There was a question in the chat what is E N D? E N D L is end line. So, out. Does it make a difference if you use um, end owl or if you use, um, I can't remember it exactly, but the n, I think it's n uh, colon slash. Oh, okay. Uh, the n colon slash. Uh, oh, that's a new line and tab right. and all of that. Okay, we'll come back to that. But for now, you're beginning, Ty, just... You can deal with that. You can deal with that later on, right? We just we just want to see this program working. How's that tight? Can I can I come back to that some other time? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, I'm the boss, so what I say goes kind of right. So, um, and also I don't want to confuse everybody else. You just take it slowly. End line simply means display whatever I have. Remember we, earlier on time we spoke about all the things I could put inside the string. Hmm. Ty, remember. Ty, stay with me, Ty. I'm here, yes, I oh, remember. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right. So let's do a build and run quickly. Right. So it says enter age. Ty, you want to tell me what your age is? Minus 10 or something, minus 5? <laughs> I'm 28. Oh, okay. Ty is 25. Right. 25. Right, 25. And what, and what do you hope to achieve at the end of this uh, course, Ty? Hi, come on. To be a software cool. engineer. Oh, okay, great. And what? And to get to the software engineer, you got to fast through this, the, these modules. And and what mark you want for cost fifteen eleven? 
um, high ones, hopefully. Yes, yes, yes. What mark? Give me a mark. Give me a number. 90, 85. 90. Wow. I like 90. I like 90. You will achieve 90. <laughs> okay. Now watch this. My age is 25. My final mark is 90. Okay. So all I've done is I've entered, I've put in something, and I've done some output. Now I just got to work on the processing part. When you think of programming like this, it makes it easy to strategize and to answer a programming task. Okay? Ty, do you like that, Ty? Do you feel confident that you can program now, Ty? Ty. 25 year old. Your button gets a little bit stuck. Yes, okay, okay. I'm keep confident. Your, keep your button on. If, you, if you've got no children in the background and all that, I'm sure you don't. That 28, you don't. So, you're okay. right. so Ty, check it out now, Ty. So this is how you must tackle a programming example. So if you look at assignment one, assignment two now, you take what do they put in? And I told you about a while loop that you need to have some read value to make a comparison. And you need to find out whatever you put in, go and display it to see that the program is doing what it's supposed to do. Ty, are you happy with that, Ty? Yep. So classy. Ah, I'm glad. Ooh, ah, I like that. Who, who, who spoke there? Who spoke? Hello? Okay, so I'm going to leave you at this. I'm gonna stop at this point. So I've helped you look through assignment one. I've started you off on assignment two on question 1A. And the same thing is for 1B. You're going to be looking at what is the output. And I like you to write programs like this because this is how you're going to grasp the concept of programming and to strategize it, All right? Hello? Hello? Hello, yes. I um so with the first one with the first example that you were showing us, what exactly are we submitting there? Are we submitting the result no. of what we just did now? No, you're only. Gonna, in fact, I haven't answered the question. You're going to submit the while loop. What happens in the while loop? So okay. should it be like a screenshot of? I don't know. Okay. I don't good know. point. Good point. All right, I'm not going to answer that question right now. I'm going to post the tutorial letter that deals with it uh, on how to print, right? And uh, it's still the 15th of April. Let's not go too fast in working with it. Uh, one of the pedagogies of teaching is you do it slowly, slowly, right? You don't do everything in one go. Thank okay. you, Braveheart Carlton. Age spelling incorrect. Yay, thank you. My compiler also picked it up. Thank you very much for paying attention. Great. Right. So I'm going to stop at this point and ask, is there any other questions that you want that you have for me? Hello. Hello, yes. Yes, I have a few questions. Uh, first, uh, uh, the first one relates to uh, the idea of variables and more specifically about floating point uh, values. Uh, okay. As we've, as we've uh, discussed before, uh, each type of... Uh, variable uh, stores different kinds of data types. So uh, I've noticed then when when uh, storing a decimal in an integer uh, variable, the uh, compiler will uh, round down the number that's uh, which is a uh, which I have uh, placed in the uh, variable. Um, as, so my question is, uh, is there any way to retrieve that information, uh, that uh, information past the decimal point, or is it just a matter of uh, knowing when to use uh, which variable and at what time? Okay, that's a very good question. Thank you. And you're beginning to think like a programmer now, right? So okay. uh, I'll give you an example where you would want to have values. So let's say, for instance, you're talking about positions. Someone came out first in the race, second in the race, third in the race. Now you answer this question to me. Would you consider storing the position of a person in the race as an integer or a float? Meaning, do you want it to be a whole number or do you want it to have a fraction in it? As an integer. Correct. Because no one can come out two and a half position, right? They're either first, second, or third. However, yes. if you're talking about marks, someone can get... 50% or 50.5%, right? In that instance, you definitely want it to be a float uh, value. 
right? Yes. right? So programming is like playing chess. You've got to kind of be analytical in determining what comes out of the value stored in your variable, the container. So if I have to use okay. the concept of Molly's uh, Tupperware, if Molly wants to bake a cake, she has to ensure that she's using the tin container and not the plastic container in the oven. So the same thing okay. happens with C++ programming. You've got to think of it like that. But for now, my advice is don't concern yourself too much with that because you are starting programming. You're like introductory programming students, okay? So okay. hang 10, right? Just take whatever yes. I've done so far in this program. Can you see? All I've done is a very simple program. I've taken yes. input, I've asked for the age, and, I've uh, and I, I didn't do any processing whatsoever. And I did a, a output. If you work like this kid, so you'll see that your confidence levels begins to improve and you'll enjoy programming without getting stuck in the nitty gritty of it all. Okay? Yep. All right, Kitsu? Yep. Kitsu, yes. it's like this, you're learning to drive the car. You don't need to know how the petrol goes from the petrol tank into the engine, right, Kitsu? Yes. Right, but you can drive the car, right? Yes. Right, so right now, don't worry about how that integer value is stored and truncated and where it goes and all of that. For now, just drive the car and enjoy program. Okay, Kitsu? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Next question. I, I actually had a few questions. Oh, uh, sorry. go ahead. Yes, up. yes. Go ahead, Kitsu, quickly. Uh, the second question was uh, how this course uh, relates to COS 1512 because okay. uh, I- Good, excellent question. Can you see the numbers 1511 and 1512, Kitsu? Yes. 1511 is one less than 1512. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Joke. Um, 1511 is the introductory module. 1512 basically goes after 1511. But some students okay. tend to register for both together. And uh, in my opinion, if you are brand new to computer programming, you should not be doing two together. If you are, have the time, you can do it. And if you notice the way the assignments are set out, 1511 assignments are before 1512, that's due. Okay, Kitsu? Yes. Okay, next question, Kitsu. Uh, the last question, I, I think it relates to what you uh, told me about uh, not really thinking about the inner workings of uh, C++ right now. I, I wanted to ask something about the main function, but it's, it's okay. Okay, where the main, what, what main one? Int main. Yes, int main. Ah, okay, uh, for now, just keep it, keep it yeah. in the back burner. So don't, don't worry okay. about the inner workings, right? That's the main okay. man. That's the main function, the main guy. Without him, it won't work, okay? For now, just yes. that you gotta keep there, right? Just think about it like this, you're driving the car. For now, you gotta ensure that there's petrol in the car for you to run, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry okay. about whether it's high octane, low octane, uh, Caltex petrol, Cecil petrol, Shell petrol, or whatever, right? Okay. Yes. I don't want to confuse okay. you. I, I, I'm okay. teaching for a long time, 29 years, and we got we got Ty in the background there, and we got Colin and all of it, and we don't want them to keep quiet, right? Okay. Is that the last question? Yes, thank you. Great, great. Anything else? Um, anybody else? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just a silly one. On your screen, you've got the logs and others. Mine don't have. On my screen, that I have the what? On the code blocks. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, the logs. Oh, okay. If you want to see the logs, you click on view and you click on logs. If you click on view and you take out, it goes away. Okay. All right. And the same thing with manager. And it's never a silly question. Okay, Molly? Okay, sir. That's what I'm. Thank that's you. What my duty is here to help you to answer your questions. Okay, uh, it's one hour eleven minutes. Uh, I'd like to keep to forty-five minutes. I overdid it, but this was our first lesson, so it's okay. Can I stop the recording and uh, right? I'm going to stop the recording and I'll upload this to our YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope you learned something. And let's stop the recording.